Sup guys, it's Ten Kosh, and today we're doing Tail Demon Slayer Rise first days guide that will help you to progress in the game more smoothly so you will learn how to properly do things let's go so first things first you might want to download the ld player emulator on your pc and play it on the pc this is an idle game and progression when it's open is better than your offline and the best way to do that is using that emulator i use it all the time and then you can sync your progress using facebook google whatever account and play it on your phone and on the PC at the same time, which is pretty convenient. My first tip right here. Now let's talk about actual gameplay. First things first, you really would like to follow those quests here because they are really important. They unlock things for you up to some point. And after that, in order to unlock additional game modes, you will have to go... Yeah, as you can see here, we need to clear guide mission for this. And after that, you need to clear actual missions. So try to do those. They guide you through most of the gameplay and they will teach you how to do things. And since we need to do awakening right now, that's a simple process. First, you need to upgrade everything. Then you need to fight some sort of boss. This is a test. And it's a complex one and pretty powerful enemy right here. So um, you might need to level up yourself a bit before attempting it. And as you can see, the health of that boss is pretty high so you might not be able to overcome it quite fast if you have those issues like i do over here when you will follow the guides the guidelines that i have over here right now that will allow you to go through it easier so okay how to get stronger first of all you need to summon boss and fight the boss and progress as fast and as far as possible that will allow you to get more loot more loot means that you can upgrade your character easier on the growth you got the training here your top priority will be improving your attack because attack is your basic stat that will allow you to do more damage to the enemy as you can see right now in the boss fight i'm actually losing it right now so in order not to lose we will upgrade our character properly so after the attack your next priority will be critical hit chance and then critical damage after that you work on your hp if you are dying in the fights that's really important not going too hard on your health if you don't need it make sure that you check all your passes here all your free rewards because they will help you to get more stuff so yeah check all those things at all times make sure not to miss anything basically now as for the level trades this is pretty straightforward you can't really uh go for something over here you will go for everything and uh yeah depending on what's your best weapon you might want to focus on that but in order to progress you will need to finish all those nodes so there is no specialization here it's okay just go for wherever you can for the skills though uh i would advise saving resources up when you get them because the mastery and the uh, upgrade of your skills will take some time and when you get the good weapons the good stuff that you use then you might go for that early on not a good idea another thing that i haven't mentioned yet don't spend all your diamonds in one go you might need them but if you do summon equipment summon weapons because those will help you out a lot so let's do some summons here and uh, as you do more summons you will level up your summon level and that will allow you to have increased chance of getting the better equipment higher tier equipment and yes as you can see here we are getting the blue now and and so on so the more you summon the better it will be and uh, let me see over here there we go the higher level of summons will increase probability of higher tier stuff so before that we couldn't get a tier blue gear now we have that chance and if we will summon more we will get more so let's try to get some blue things i will spend like maybe i don't know twenty thousand diamonds here so we can get some gear upgrades and everything and uh yeah maybe we'll get like it there we go we got additional hammer there uh, additional hammer as well it's better oh this is good we got different type of weapons here this is pretty cool you would like to get different type of stuff here so you will get different equipment slots all right i think that will be enough that's the last one for now and yeah from time to time you will have to do that then you get the costumes in order to summon the costumes you will need those costume cards and costumes are really important because they buff you up and i saved those just to summon them here with you nothing you can do here again this is a pure gacha and uh if you like you can get ss or sss stuff and oh star level up that's cool we get higher critical chance and as far as i understand 
the more you summon, the higher will be the chance to get SSS costume. Right now, they are 10%. But when you fill the summon gouge and if you don't get one SSS costume, you will get one guaranteed. So that's pretty cool. You can go for five summons, for one summons, it doesn't matter. There are no bonuses for this, just you uh, won't have to skip those that much. And those stars up are the passive bonuses because we upgrade the characters that we already summoned, basically. So yeah, that's how it goes. Let's see, do we get the... Woo! We are getting the SSS on our last try. There we go. The guy who uses the uh, the fan weapon. There we go. And as you can see now, this one is reset. So every time you do summons, if you don't get the guaranteed character in 20 summons, you will get one for sure. So there we go. Once again, you can spend more diamonds if you want to on this stuff. I would advise to have some of that spare, at least 15k, because you don't know when you might need it right moreover when you go to the hero we go out to level up to improve all the gear that we have and auto equip we have all our gear equipped as a uh, high tier and as for the costumes we might want to go where's our sss one it's for the fans right yeah is it equipped it is equipped so that's nice i don't really like this s costume for this weapon but we don't have ss one anyway so it's okay. Let's see. When you level up the characters, guys, when you're using up those runes, it's it's a good idea to focus on the guys that you will lose use a long term. Like this guy that we've got over here, because I mean he's cool, he's triple S, and uh, we might want to spend all our is it like frost uh, stones on him because that's pretty cool. His skills are really nice. His bonuses are really good. And as you can see, you get effects and possession. So when you unlock new costumes, you will get those bonuses. And effect and use are used for the characters that are being used. So yeah, make sure that you level up the guys that are being used first. And I've got the bad situation here. All of my actual characters are water guys. So that's not really the best case scenario. But it might change later on. It's okay. So now since we are on the equipment screen. Let's take a look at the gear. I'll take a look at the fence right now. And uh, each weapon. There are two types of weapons. Okay. The basics. That was pretty confusing at first. First slot can go for either swords or hammers. Which weapon is the best? I'm not sure yet. I haven't tested them all that much. But in my opinion, right now, you should go for highest tier one. We get A1, which is like top tier, A tier weapon for hammers. So let's use that one. Same goes for the second weapons too. This is like medium range weapons. We get the Spears and Gatling gun and we get strong Gatling gun. So we'll use that one. For the long range, we get the better crossbow, but since we get SSS tier character, we will use A2 fan instead, and uh, like in order to level it up, we will need the merge materials, all that stuff, so we will need more stuff. Basically, just get what you can, it's pretty easy and straightforward, and um, try to get your strongest pick here now let's see if we can defeat the boss now go away after we get our new gear i think we will smash it like totally destroy it because that guy should be way stronger right now and the enemies should be defeated no problem yes as i said the boss is going down pretty fast let's give it a go for awakening as well right now to see if that will be better because awakening will make you so much stronger and we should be able to do that we got the gear upgrade oh yeah that guy is going down no problem we got the awakening that will give us crazy bonuses take a look at that bam awakened and uh yeah there is a story going on and now we can do another roll of those upgrades of your stats and here once again you should focus on your offensive ability starting with attack then with uh, your favorite weapon attack, in, in our case will be hand fan, for example. And when you finish all those up, you can do another test of awakening for the next tier. What else can you do to progress if you can't go even with the upgraded gear? You can use the clover buff. You will need to watch ads to go through this, but those are really good bonus. You can get the attack bonus, you can get the boss damage bonus, and max HP. That will help you to beat bosses easier, but you will have to watch 
three ads for that. And uh, if you activate it 10 times, it will get stronger. I usually don't use those. So for me, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. So I'm okay with this. But if you want to, it's okay. That will allow you to progress more. And what I like about this game that when you can progress the level, you will progress the level. That's why you want to get stronger and keep progressing. So you will get to the higher stage to get more gold and more AFK rewards. Next thing I want to talk about are dungeons. Those are pretty straightforward. Don't be afraid to try the higher difficulty. If you can go through that, that's cool. Because if you will fail, you will get your token back in order to try it again. And don't save those up, guys. If you save those up, you won't get the daily refill of those. So try to spend them every day to zero. That will allow you to get more of those daily and get more rewards daily. That will improve your progress. And yeah, try to push as far as possible. Early on, you will do those more often. Later on, it will slow down. That's obvious. So there we go. You can push those quite a lot. And the further you will go, the more you will get. If you can't beat one of the levels, you can go one back and sweep it. Sweeping it. I thought sweeping it is free because I think I did it last time. But you don't have the free sweep. Okay, you can enter the manually and replay that. Okay, that's... Not really nice, but what can we do? Gold Temple, same stuff that will give you the gold for the upgrades. Elemental Caves will give you those elemental things that you can use in order to upgrade your costumes. Then another thing that we have here is Sky Island. You get the Guardians here. Those are your basically ultimate spells. And as you progress the game, you will get more and more of those. They have different stats, different abilities. And which one is better? Uh, yeah, you will decide which one to use. Like uh, the Ju Jujack is the one that's doing damage. While Hu Hyoru is the one that's slowing enemies down at the same time. So that might be more of crowd control style if you are taking damage. So yeah, pick the one that fits you the best. Early on, I would advise this guy because he is doing 507% damage on the third level. And will burn enemies Take the, and they will take additional damage. So that seems like the best option for us right now. There is also a mental training here, which is basically your skill tree. So um, the more you do here, the better it will be. You can do some upgrades here. Some of those are pretty neat. Once again, you will have to do all of them. So there is no option to skip on some of those or go for something specific. Meditation is a pretty cool mini game. So uh, what I did here, I kind of wanted to collect them all so let's see what will happen i can I get this one yeah there we go we get a huge match here so the more of those you will match the better it will be you will get additional bonuses and uh you get limited amount of moves here for meditation that's the main thing but try to blow up special nodes like this one over here oh my god uh but don't do that by clicking on them use the combinations and kind of connect them together so let's do this bam there we go and the more of those you will match the more of those rewards you will get that you will use in order to build your skills over here so yeah you will have to do it quite a lot once again i think the best strategy here will be trying to save one color till the end like i did over here so you can get a pretty crazy combinations here moreover if you get some gray nodes like the one at the bottom they can be used to connect different colors together so they can be used anywhere it's a good idea to use that and uh you know you, you might want to save them up for later for some specific strategies there we go when you get the long lines you will get additional things like we get that what's this you at the top what does it do pain pick a fox fire to change its color to gray so let's test something i want to see if that will work so let's say i want to use those things no okay so ah uh, that was bad you can't switch colors using the gray move right you can only connect through it and you can't really go back once you start pulling your finger that sucks probably there is a way but i haven't found one so when you are pulling things around if you release your finger, it will kind of do weird stuff. But yeah, you can have a lot of those stones here that you can use later on for the upgrades. Once again, I would advise focusing on meditation moves first, because that will allow you to progress there faster, save up more moves in order to do more stuff. Later on, go for offensive stats. Why are we loading? 
uh, go for offensive stat that will give you attack, skill damage and that kind of stuff. So offensive moves are the best. HP is secondary, at least right now early game. Other game areas require you to clear stages quite far. I'm at stage 157. Those require 25 something, so we are not there yet. So, okay, what else do we have here? We have the album. Album is important because it will give you passive bonuses multipliers. In order to get those, you need to save up and kinda get different type of items and uh, they will give you additional bonuses and those are pretty powerful as you can see. We are multiplying our damage quite a lot over here and we're getting stronger and stronger and our power is skyrocketing right now. Later on you will get the same for the fairies and necklaces but basically that's it. So yeah, about the equipment level is pretty straightforward, it's different from other games. First, you merge equipments together in order to level it up, so you don't spend some enchantment tokens to upgrade your gear. But uh, once uh, it reaches maximum level, you will merge it and it will go to the next tier. So basically, C3 will become C2 and C1 and so on, but you need a lot of that stuff in order to be merged. Once again, that's additional reason why you would like to summon equipment here and spend diamonds on that, because the more equipment you get, the more of those multipliers you will get as well over time, and that will make you stronger. All right, I've spent all my resources. Oh my god. So let's level everything up. That will be nice. And auto equip. There we go. We get a different type of weapon now. Does this guy use... Yeah, this guy use fire. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, now we can go to album again and upgrade more stuff. It's 13 C right now. We got two times stronger. And now after this summon, we got from 13 C to 14.5 C, which is a lot. So we will be able to flow through more content, get stronger and destroy more enemies. I want to say a few words about the quests as well. Those are pretty straightforward. You do them, they give you diamonds and you get the repeatable quests. Those should be claimed in order to get extra rewards. So, oh, you can get a cumulative count of those. That's nice. So, yeah, just claim them and there are daily quests that will you have to do in order to get more diamonds per day, basically. So it's a good idea to finish them all. Other than that, the game have some event happening from time to time. Right now, we get this find the ducky in the ice event. And uh, you get a daily quest here that will give you hammers. And you will use those hammers to break the ice. And if you are lucky, you will get the ducky. So, uh, yeah, be really careful where you click it. Because, yeah, if you click it like I do here, it will be really inefficient. Because you would like to divide this area with the hexes. So you won't have the stuff that I have over here. Now this is really inefficient to do that. So I'd rather reset right now. Later on, you will be able to exchange change the duckies either for your rubber quirky costume or whatever you will have at your event or additional stuff which is pretty cool as well ss tier gear really nice my tip for all the events usually you would like to go for the costume because those are one-time things but the gear you can get it later as well so don't worry about that ah here it is i found the boss i was looking where it is there we go sometimes you get the boss fights here and uh that's easy. And yeah, you will have some tickets in order to fight them. Each time you fight the boss, you will have the harder one. Now we got the level 2 and he's been defeated easy as well. But over time, the level will get higher. And you will need to try harder to fight them. I'm pretty sure there is some specific tactics how to fight this boss. Because it's not as easy. If you want to push harder, you might want to watch ads to give yourself additional tries at the fight and uh, if you get to top three in your bracket there was a, there are small brackets here you will get diamonds and coin rewards that you can spend in the shop over here to get extra stuff once again those are up to you what to get i would advise get going for diamonds because finger is like it's okay but it's not crazy good up to you up to your rewards here are all pretty cool don't go for the gear though because gear is like you can get it from the diamonds and i don't know so yeah go for whatever you feel like oh and yeah other than that don't forget to check your mail from time to time because you can get the rewards here that will help you quite a lot so you don't want to miss them so they will disappear from your mailbox look at that 10k diamonds for free why the hell not that's nice other than that there are not many things i can advise you right now because i need to play the game more to learn that just make sure that you get the best weapons turn on out and you will be mostly okay in the most game modes 
sometimes in some game modes like in elemental caves for example you might want to go for specific manual combat but it's not worth it in my opinion unless you're min maxing so yeah guys if you have your own tips for this game let me know about them and the community down below in the comments don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and check out the video description for additional links ld player my other YouTube channels social media discord and there are a lot of things website with the wiki's game vault and a lot of other useful things so yeah thank you very much for watching guys that's about it for now stay and coach out have a good one bye